Aloha and welcome back to High Now Daily. Now, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and joining me right now is Amber and Lei of Nami Hawaii. Thank you, ladies, for sitting down with me today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's talk a little bit about Nami Hawaii and your folks' mission. What do you folks do there, and what does Nami stand for? Oh, well, Nami. Well, and Nami is all about mental health. And Nami, the acronym is National Alliance on Mental Illness. And we are dedicated to improving the lives of individuals and families who are affected by mental illness. And we provide support, education, and awareness. And this month, because it's Mental Health Awareness Month, we are opening up our registration to the largest mental health walk on Hawaii, our NAMI Walks. Beautiful. Okay, so NAMI Walks is more than just walking in support, right? There's going to be a lot of things happening. Um, this is happening actually in October, but we wanted to get ahead of it so that you guys can register because yes. it's so important to raise awareness and like break the stigma, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll have, you know, the fun things like games, entertainment, food. But one of the biggest things that we have there is going to be our wellness tent. And the wellness tent will have over 20 mental health partners that are going to be where you can actually go there, ask a therapist question, a whole bunch of people are going to be there to help the community. That's what we're all about. We're very community oriented and we want people to come and say, you know what, mental health matters to me and we're gonna break that stigma. It's a safe place for everyone to come. Absolutely, the more you talk about it, the more you raise awareness about it, people will be comfortable with sharing their stories. And that's how you both got into becoming a part of NAMI Hawaii, having your own experiences, whether it be you yourself, your family members, or things that you've just experienced, right? Yes, yes. Well, for me, I come from a very strict Asian family and would, mental health was never talked about. You never talk about any kind of mental illness. But um, now I'd like to talk about it because I'd like to break, help break that stigma and say, you know, I lived with a lived experience in anxiety, insomnia, and uh, panic attacks. And NAMI was there to help me to find coping skills and educate me. And so I want to, and Amber herself, we want to come out and say, hey, come out to the walk. We have so much support that we can provide you. We've got workshops, all these things that will be able to empower people to help other people as well. Absolutely, and when is the walk? October 12th, that's a Saturday, and it's happening all over different islands. Yes. So we have one on Oahu at the Frank F. Fossey Civic Grounds, one on the Big Island, Kauai, Maui, and this year we've added Lanai to Yay! it as well. Uh, I love that you folks are expanding your services, you know, having the walks now on more islands. And then Amber, I wanted to move over to you because you are going to be a part of the one on Maui. I know that there's going to be some booths there, there's going to be people to help with coping, there's going to be the walk, of course. But tell everybody about how you got involved with NAMI Hawaii and why it's so special to you. So NAMI I've been involved with for a long time. I have my Myself have struggled with PTSD, anxiety, eating disorders, uh, you know, panic attacks, and I have a lot of family members who also have dealt with mental health conditions, and I've lost a few family members to suicide. So raising awareness about mental health and letting people know that it is okay to not be okay and that there is help out there, and to try to get people help earlier so that they can live better lives. And so um, getting involved with NAMI Hawaii has been a big big um, important thing for me and getting that walk started in Maui we this will be our second year getting that going so it's a little smaller than the Oahu one but we still have a lot of fun activities that we're gonna be doing absolutely and, you gotta yeah. start somewhere I'm glad it, bringing it back to Maui the second year especially um, what happened back in August with the wildfire so a, a perfect opportunity to open up this space for people to come and join you walk for Maui as well so Nami walks that's on the same date as well it is. And then where will that walk be? It'll, it'll be at the University of Hawaii at Maui College, right on the Great Lawn. Okay, and and um, if people wanted to register, your website, what is that? 
NamiHawaii.org. NamiHawaii.org. And you can start registration now, right? You can Go start ahead. registering. Go! Islands, actually, right now. Right on. Okay, so a lot of things to talk about. We have the poster here because if you are in need of help right now, you guys have some resources to share. Yes, yeah, so anybody can contact the helpline to get some support, but we also have many different support groups um, on in Hawaii, either online or in person. Um, we have uh, support groups for families and for people with mental health conditions, and we also have been facilitating support groups for fire survivors in Maui. We do that every last Wednesday of the month. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing the resources and Nami Watts. Go ahead and check them out on our website. But before we go, I wanted you to finish on that last thought. Well, for NAMI National, because we are a national organization, we're the largest grassroots mental health organization in the nation. And uh, we have a campaign going right now because it's Mental Health Awareness Month. And it's take a moment. Take a moment and be kind to yourself that there is always hope and you're never alone. All right, well thank you so much ladies for sitting down with me again. Go ahead and register for NAMI Walks. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with more of High Now Daily. Mahalo ladies. Thank you.